my channel and welcome to a cozy Christmassy vlog. I am living in this lounge dress at the moment. I am just obsessed. Every time it's in the wash, I'm like, I need to put it on. I also bought it in black and I just love it. It's like the comfiest, coziest thing because it kind of wraps around. It kind of feels like you're wearing a blanket. It's so cozy. So I'm loving it. So in today's video, I'm actually filming it a little bit today and then also a little bit tomorrow. So tomorrow is Saturday and me and Bradley have planned to go to b &M and I cannot wait. We're gonna go to the one in, I don't know if it's Crawley or Croydon, I always get confused. I think it's Crawley. And there's like, it's like a little complex and there's also a TK Maxx and also a, what's it called? A Next as well, so we're gonna go in there. We're gonna get loads of presents for Christmas and then I'm also gonna film a haul, which I think will be up the day after this video. So very exciting. I also wanna make the Kinder Bueno cookie bars. I make these every year, like around this time of year, and they're just the tastiest treat ever. And I think tomorrow we're also gonna go to Bradley's at Mum and Dad's. So I thought I could make them and then bring them to them when we see them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make them tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna see how I feel. But I think I need to get some stuff from B&M for the cookie bar, so I think I'll make them tomorrow, actually. I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you. Um, I've got some bits and bobs to do around the house. I wanna make my lunch. I haven't eaten anything today and I'm so hungry. What's the time? Um, and I've got some cleaning bits and bobs that I also need to do as well. So I wanted to show you some things from Polish London, which you guys know I absolutely love. I work with Polish London every single month. I feel like I'm their biggest fan and I'm really excited to say that they have very kindly partly sponsored today's video. So because it's Black Friday, they have some incredible deals in at the moment. Polish London actually have up to 60% off on their site but you guys need to get in there quick because things are selling out fast um i actually wanted to show you the gift set but it sold out <laughs> so i'm just showing you guys some of my favorite products and products that obviously i use on a daily basis Polish london are like the modern oral care brand that everyone needs they look so lovely in your bathroom it's so aesthetic and because of the deals on at the moment it's perfect perfect for christmas coming up so my first favorite product from Polish London is the Sonic XP toothbrush. They have this in white, which is what I've got here. Um, and then they also have the black one as well. So this is what it looks like up close. It's not just a normal toothbrush. There is a lot more to it. So I'm gonna read it here. There's 40,000 brush strokes per minute. I've also got five modes of cleaning, which is really good. So when you press the on button, clean, whitening, gum care, sensitive, and also deep clean. You also get three weeks worth of brushing in one single charge. There's a two minute timer with 30 second intervals. There's also a smart LED battery indicator. So when the battery is running low at the bottom here, it will tell you and it will kind of pre-warn you. I mean, I literally use it until the max and it still lasts ages, but it does tell you. And it's also waterproof as well. So in this set, I always keep the box because I love how like sleek it is. Honestly, the packaging is beautiful. It looks like this. Obviously I've used my head, the toothbrush is here. It also comes with a travel case. So I took this with me when we went on holiday or if I travel anywhere. The charger, which obviously I use. Um, and then they have spare heads as well, which is super handy. It's just such a luxury gift. Do you guys know what I mean? So that's the first product that I absolutely love. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about are the teeth whitening strips. Now these strips, aren't like any other teeth whitening strips. And I feel like a lot of people could talk to you and say, these are the best whitening strips, no these are. But I'm not just saying that. These will transform your smile. Myself and Bradley have a lot of stains and stuff on our teeth. And we use these all the time. So you can get a 14 day or a 28 day one. They come in a really lovely box as well. And they look like this. So I'm gonna open them and you literally open it up. And then inside, the longer strip is for the top teeth and then the shorter one is for your bottom teeth. You leave it on between 30 to 60 minutes. So in that time, I usually pop them on, get ready and then take them off after. My teeth are so white. It's basically like an amazing quick fix for your teeth if you're going out the evening or you've got an event or anything coming up and you want your teeth to be super white. But I really recommend, I would personally say get the 28 day one. Then you could do the 14 day course like every day and just incorporate it. Like when Bradley does his whitening strips, he always does it in the evening, literally just before we go to sleep. So we'll go up to bed, we'll watch some telly and he'll pop them in and then he'll scroll on his phone, forget he's got them in and then like an hour's gone by, then he'll take them out, brush his teeth for bed and then you're all good to go. 
you don't have to keep them in for overnight um i've had teeth whitening before that i've had to keep in overnight before like in bed and it's just been so uncomfortable and it's really off-putting these are really discreet and so easy and they make your breath really nice and fresh as well and your teeth will look so much brighter it doesn't affect with any sensitivity it doesn't strip any enamel from your teeth it's really safe they've been made with dentists as well so they really are irresistibly white after you use them and then one of my favorite products from polish london and you can use this on any toothbrush but of course i recommend the sonic xp because that's what i use and i love this is the uvc so this is a product that i had no idea even existed because it's from polish london obviously before i used it and it's now something that i cannot go a day without living and i actually ordered a new one for bradley because i was like you need this so this is a three minute toothbrush steriliser so it looks like this this is a perfect gift for someone if you don't know what to get them and it's something that they'll use all the time so it looks like this this is the steriliser this is like a little wall mount and you can like stick it in your bathroom and then this is also the steriliser so one single charge will last 30 days you simply pop your toothbrush in close it and then the uv light will come on obviously i haven't charged this one yet so the light isn't coming on but there's a three minute timer and you don't even I mean you don't even need to worry about the three minute timer because when you finish brushing your teeth you just pop it in the case and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. If you think your toothbrush lives in your bathroom and the amount of bacteria that can just be sitting on this actually makes me feel a bit ill. <laughs> so having this is such an essential um, and I really love how it looks as well. So yeah this is definitely something I recommend and incorporate into my daily routine. Polish London have so many amazing products that are perfect for Christmas and they have the biggest sale they've ever had which is up to 60% off which is insane. So I really recommend going to Polish London. I'll pop all the info in the description box down below. These are some of my favourite products but I mean I use their toothpaste, I use a mouthwash, like it just the list goes on. I feel like I could talk to you about all their products all day but I'll just pop a link to them in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to pick them up yourself. And a massive thank you to them for partly sponsoring today's video. Canon, do you want to focus? Hmm. Okay, so, hi guys, I'm now downstairs. In my last vlog, I showed you the Smeg kettle and also the coffee machine. I may have purchased the toaster. <laughs> I'm so happy, honestly. We, at the moment, have the four, we have the four slice ones, which we love, but it takes up so much space. And if I'm being honest, like, we don't, we don't need it. And for the space that it takes up, I was debating whether to get the four slice one for the smeg one or just the two slice and I actually prefer the look of the two slice and me and Bradley were saying we don't need the four slice as well. Do you want to go for me? Do you want to go with me please? So I ordered it and it's coming. It said like it said up to eight days it's going to take so I mean it's fine. I'm just I'm so excited. Um, also this is my new favourite coffee from Starbucks. Blonde roast but it's the Christmassy one. It's amazing and I asked them to grind it in the finest like grind they can do and it's insane. So I am loving this at the moment. I've still got my board here and my neon diffuser which I love. Sorry if you can hear outside. I think it's like once a week or once every two weeks there's people that come and like do the gardening like in our estate so sorry if you can hear that. Um, but yesterday on my, or the day before, on my Instagram stories, I have uploaded some bits which I've also saved to my second November highlight. I mean, I might make a separate one just for um, gift guides, but I showed you guys some gift guide things and some of them are from Amazon as well. <gasps> I love this. And one of the items that I found, I bought myself. I mean, I have got, I think, all the items that I shared as well because... I love them but I picked up this watch strap and it also comes with a little case and I thought I could just mix and match it you know so this is the strap that I've got at the moment I love it but I mean it is good to mix and match so I'm excited I really like it I just thought for like in the week and in the gym and stuff this one's just a bit easier okay I put it on the wrong way at first this is the strap and the case and I love it and I think just for like in the week and stuff I don't want to ruin this I mean this is from Amazon as well and I've had this for so long now and I mean it hasn't even tarnished I feel like it's like gold plated actually the inside has I'm gonna make lunch and talk to you guys after because <laughs> this is too loud but I'll put a link to this in the description box 
I love it. I'm not getting rid of this, by the way. I'm just popping it here for now. But I'm obviously going to keep that one and wear the gold one on weekends. Yay! Good morning. Good morning. It's the afternoon. Oh, yeah. It's actually 11.36 right now. Um, good morning. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So, me and Bradley have decided to just kind of have a slow morning. We've kind of just got up got ready when we wanted um you played fifa for ages didn't you i did so yeah we've now parked up and we are i don't know if yes, you guys Darby. can see at starbucks because this is like our weekend routine isn't it we come here weekly at the moment don't we we do it's become a thing we and on an awesome first name basis i know they actually are but i don't care about that we're gonna get starbucks now because we haven't had a coffee today and i feel like neither of us can properly function caffeine. yeah we need can't caffeine that coffee. we can't function um maybe are you hungry yeah a little bit we can just see what we feel like yeah. over there um and then we're going <coughs> to b and m and how, how excited are you to go to b and m i am excited i cannot wait i feel like we haven't been in ages and i know it's your guys like favorite video so that is what we're doing and i'm dressed in cream and stuff today which Probably isn't the best when I'm having coffee. No. Nice fine though. Wow, a bit beigey. Um, it's such nice weather today. It's like blue sky. I mean, it's a bit cloudy, blue sky, but it's cold and crisp, and it's such a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, 12 degrees. 12 degrees. Reasonable for yeah. November. Yeah. So anyway, let's go and get a Starbucks, it's and then we'll okay. let you know what we get when we get back in the car. a gingerbread frappuccino which I got when we went to Starbucks when did we go to Starbucks last? when we went to Sainsbury's last weekend wasn't it? yeah and we got it at night yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then we were like really awake then we, we didn't go to like 2am yeah we went to bed at 2am because we got a coffee in the evening and Bradley got what did you get? a toffee nut frappuccino no you didn't what last week? no here oh yeah cappuccino Bradley's so basic he doesn't get in the festive I do, I had a toffee nut frappuccino last week. My first coffee of the day needs to be a normal hot coffee and then I can experiment. I'm one of those people though. I've got oat milk with normal cream. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. But I just prefer the taste of oat milk. Mm. So it's, it's more gentle on my stomach, I think. Okay, first stop, next. Oh, it looks very Christmassy. Aww. This is lovely bedding. Oh my god, look. <laughs> That'd be weird. <really> nice. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. You'd just be stroking it. It's way too warm. It's cute though. Oh, look. I love all this. How do I use that light, by the way? So we go. Okay, look. A. Where's B? Oh. Well, I'd have to be if somebody else. You could just do this. What's that? It doesn't really look <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is so cute. So we've got these. Do you recognise these, Bradley? Yeah, and I recognise that. We don't have that. <laughs> yes, we do. No, we don't. We have this. We have that. We don't have this. I promise you we don't. Do we have a house that looks like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. I think last year we had yeah. that. Oh, no. No, it's a bit that. It looked like that. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. It Whose other house have you been to that has that? <laughs> oh, look, is there an A and a B? Bradley, I don't think we're meant to be together because there's not. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. I love next stuff for like home bits. Look, Bradley, when we've got kids. Look, look when we've got kids. Oh, we can put that out every year. So cute. He might break. He might break. Right, is there an A and a B? <laughs> never. <laughs> there is literally never. Oh, these mugs are cute. Oh, oh. Oh, this is cute. 
making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go. This could be Luna's friend. <laughs> oh my god, Bradley wants to get it. <laughs> We're not getting it. Literally looks like Luna. Look how nice that chair is. You just kind of sink into it. It's so nice, isn't it? Okay, bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories I don't know if I told you guys, we're now in TK Maxx looking at loads of bits and bobs and oh, show them. Good idea. What? <laughs> I don't know, it's true. Oh. <laughs> Bradley found this and it's so cute. Um, and it has like different things after you roll it. I don't know why the lighting's gone weird. They've got lovely books. I've got this one. Yeah, it's how much it was on Amazon. But look, they've got loads of like Dior ones, Prada. There's loads. Oh, Jane Austen. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, look how big that candle is. <laughs> Freddie, look how big this candle is. That is massive. Yeah. Should we smell some? Okay. Apple honey butter. How does it really smell? What do you uh, think? That's a bit sweet. There's a lot of pumpkin ones still here. What's that one? I don't know. I can just sense it's going to be a good one. Firewood and silver. White fur. chocolate latte. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Oh my god, that literally smells like. Smell do you reckon with these you can reuse them and have it as a cup after? Maybe. But that's do you reckon it constantly tastes. No, you'd wash it. Silly. Oh my god. Look at that Christmas tree. Look, one. this is a candle. Mm. Lavender chamomile. That's not Christmas. It just doesn't smell of anything. It doesn't. White Christmas. Oh, that's cute. It doesn't smell. What is it? Oh, that's like um, potpourri. So it just smells nice. I think you undo the packet. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is that a candle? Oh, yeah, there's a gold one as well. Mm. That is so cute. Nice. Sweet cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Bradley. Good notes. What else is here? Gingerbread. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that is it then, isn't it? Sweet and cinnamony. These are cute. See? You laugh at me for having one of these coins, I but it comes in handy. Which one? No, I think the big one. We might get some bits for the kids, you know? Yay! Let's go. <laughs> We're now in B&M. We're going into B&M. Bradley's happy because I've just bought him his Christmas present. Not in TK Maxx, but online, and he's so happy because he knew what he was getting. You happy? <laughs> so we're going down the sweet aisle. <laughs> we're having a movie night tonight. That's movie. a lot. Movie mix. That's perfect for the movie night. Movie mix. Um, and we're always down this aisle for so long. But there we go. We're now venturing into the rest of B&M. So, we're going down this way today. Oh look, warmer thermal ones. Have you ever tried Monster? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you? Nice. I hate energy drinks and stuff. Not my vibe. You don't like that, do you? 
Not my vibe, no. It reminds me of when I was younger and used to mix it with um, Jaeger bombs. Right, this is the home stuff, guys. Oh my God, look. All <gasps> oh, the apples. Wow. Love this wreath. It's also so busy today. Bradley, could you put that in the trolley, please? It's also really busy today, isn't it, Bradley? It took us, yeah, so long to park. So I'm going to try and show you guys everything that's in. Um, I might put music over the top in case you can't hear me. <laughs> but there is some really nice things. The shelves look really stacked today, which is good. I feel like we've come on a really good day. Because if you watch my B&M hauls, you know that sometimes it's a little sparse. But I feel like it looks good. Um, oh my god, I love this little tea light holder. Things like this are so cute for like table decor. I might actually get that. Um, and there's some like tea light candle holders. I love this little stag. Oh, little squirrel. These are cute for like table decorations, for dinner and stuff over Christmas. Love those, those are really cute as well. I really like these ceramic vases. Like this range in the B&M ranges is like my favorite. It's very neutral, like a natural kind of vibe. And I love it. Like the woven trays, the candles. These are really cute if you've got like a little baby in their rooms. I love it. cleaning aisle oh yeah maybe get some dishmatic refills we're trying to look at seasonal stuff there's not loads of seasonal things oh that's good yeah get that one as well we can swap it do we need pods i feel like we need guys we are now back home from B&M and we quickly popped into Tesco's on the way home as well just because I need to pick up some more ingredients for the cookie bars but I think we should go into the kitchen now we can make them and I'm so excited I just feel like this is like the coziest snack ever 
I don't know the calories and I don't plan to know the calories, but they're so tasty and like perfect for this time of year. So yeah, let's go into the kitchen and we can make them. Okay, so these are the cookie bars that I'm gonna make. I've made them before. I always make them around like Christmas time just because I feel like I bake a lot more around this time of year. So it's by Jane's Patisserie. I'll pop um, this link in the description box down below. Um, and she has the ingredients and all the steps of how to make it and stuff. So we went to Tesco's earlier, who are the instructions. I picked up all the ingredients. Um, look how cute my mixing bowl is. I love it. This is from TK Maxx and it came with this spoon and also this whisk. So I'm very excited to use this for the first time. So I've got loads of chocolate in here. I already opened one of these, but honestly, there is a lot of chocolate that she uses. So I'm just gonna see how it goes before I open all of it. Um, I think I'm gonna add some milky bars in as well, just because I feel like the white chocolate will make it so tasty. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. This Christmas, I only wanna be close to you. Just taken out of the oven. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down and then we can cut it open. You're meant to leave it in the tin for I think around 10 minutes and then I can cut it open. Well, I'm all for Christmas. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman snow. Taste test. That is chunky. Mm. I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> I know it's a cookie bar. What do you think? Oh my god. That nice? <laughs> is that nice? <laughs> what Dangerous. would you rate it? Dangerous. Yep. That's nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. Is that your favourite thing I've, I've baked? That, yeah, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I think so. Wow. Um, how many calories? <laughs> I have literally no idea. But it's fine. Yeah, a mouthful? maybe it's fine. Calories but don't count on a calories don't count on a Sunday. Look how tasty. It's like gooey. What I was gonna do is melt. Um, I think because the cake loaf is so big, it's crunchier on the outside. Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Okay, so I topped it off with some melted chocolate, which Bradley kindly put in his mouth after, but it's fine. I didn't need it, but 
This is, I think this is the nicest one I've ever baked. Bradley said this is one of the nicest things I've ever baked, didn't you? It is. It's definitely up there. It's so tasty. It's really annoying that we can't eat it all. But we're going to mum and dad's tomorrow, so maybe Why we could bring we? it. But you can eat it all. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's so tasty. Let me know if you guys recreate it. I'll pop Jane's Patisserie's blog where I got this in the description box. But 10 out of 10. She didn't drizzle on top, but I just did because, you know. We're different. We're different. But love it. Dream I knew this Christmas I only want